QuickBooks 12, creating a purchase order, new customers, and estimates. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our Facebook page, email, and website. I'm teaching the book Cost Accounting for Dummies free online every week. And you'll also see the blog. So I have skipped over to QuickBooks, and we created in the last video a vendor. And now we're going to create a purchase order for that vendor. Uh, you can see that there's vendors here at the top of the page and it, there's create purchase order there. That's one way to go in. I'm going to click on the icon purchase order. I think that's more commonly used. So you'll see that a purchase order screen comes up. I'm going to click the drop down on vendor and I find, mount, find mountaintop denim which causes the vendor's name and address to load and it causes on the ship to Sturdy Blue Jeans My Company which you can see in the top right hand corner to load also. I created one item last time and that was denim that I'm buying from Mountaintop. So I'm going to click on that. You'll see that a description of the denim loaded. One quantity, UM stands for unit of measurement and we said that that was going to be a square yard and a rate of ten dollars. So I decide that I'm going to buy a hundred square yards, so my quantity QTY is a hundred, square yard is the unit of measurement, and when I change the quantity and I clicked over here on the amount, the amount changed to a thousand, which is the hundred square yards times the rate of ten dollars so my total on this purchase order is a thousand so I'm going to save and close the purchase order and you can see that it takes me back to the home screen so now I'm going to create a customer somebody to sell my goods to so I can go to customers in the drop down menu. You can also see that the middle set of screens here in QuickBooks on the home page is customers. You can also go to the drop down. So I'm going to click on the drop down, customers, customer center. And what you're going to see is that I've already created a customer called Elm Street Clothing that is going to buy my blue jeans. So there's Elm Street Clothing, here's the address, so I've already created a customer. So the next thing I'm going to do is create an estimate. An easy way to do it is to go to New Transactions, Estimate. Now I want to distinguish between an estimate and a final order. This is an estimate that I'm giving a client to fill an order that they're placing with me. So what you see when I pull down the estimate is I loaded Elm Street Clothing in the estimate, that's my customer, and I've got an item here and I'm going to sell them a pair of blue jeans. And that's not an item yet, so I'm going to add the item. And I'm going to make it a, uh, a product. So when I go into the item, I create an inventory part, I'm really selling something out of inventory. This in this case is a pair of final blue jeans that I sell to a client. So I created a new item, 
called Blue Jean Standard. The unit of measurement square yards. I did leave a unit of measurement there. And we can edit that. Hit OK if you want to change the unit of measurement. And you'll notice I didn't put anything on the purchase side because not only denim but other labor and other costs are going to go into these pair of blue jeans. So this item is simply going to be the sales side, the revenue side of the transaction. So, description on the sales transaction is blue jean standard, sold to customer. I sell them at a retail price of $50. And that income goes into sales income. So I'm going to hit OK. And you'll see that what got loaded on the form here is, is that I have my new item, blue jean standard description. I'm going to change the quantity that they're going to buy to 50, uh, let's make it 50 pairs of blue jeans return. You'll see that 50 times the uh, cost of 50 loaded. If I go back to previous, I went too far. 50 blue jeans times a cost of $50, it's a $2,500 estimate. You see that it loads in a recent transactions here on the left, on the right. I'm going to hit save and close. So we did three things on this video. If I click out of here and go back to the home page, we created a purchase order. If I click on purchase orders, click just once here, went too quick, I hit previous. You'll see there's the mountaintop denim purchase order to buy 100 pairs of jeans at a cost of $10. So we did that. Save and close. I went out to customer center and I have a new customer, Elm Street Clothing. There's the data on Elm Street Clothing, so I created a new customer through Customer Center. And if I go to the Customer section on the home page, and I go to Estimate, and I go to Previous, you'll see that I created a new item called Blue Jean Standard, which are the blue jeans we sell to clients. The description, a quantity that they bought, times the cost, I have an estimate out there for $2,500. And I'm going to save and close that. That's as far as we'll get on creating a purchase order, new customers, and estimates. You can find additional videos on my website. All the YouTube videos are now linked into my website as well. There's the YouTube channel. For live one-on-one -on -one tutoring and ch chat sessions, you can go to the website. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.